everybody, it's Delia and it's time for your daily dose. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. And let's get right into it. So for today, I'm going to be talking about how I moved upstate and how I will never go back. Ever. Yeah, so for starters, I ended up moving upstate because I have a lot of friends that I went to Job Corps with that already lived upstate. So I had a lot of stuff going on at home. So I ended up calling my friend E. So I'm like, yo, E, I got da 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 happen. She was like, yo, pack your shit, come upstate. So I'm like, where? She was like, yeah, I got a room. So I'm like, I bet. So I ended up packing up my stuff. I moved upstate, got a job at Walmart, working overnights. They was bugging at Walmart, though. They was tripping at Walmart. They gonna go say that I was moving too slow. Like, how? I'm over here knocking out crates by crates by crates. Y'all is tripping. <laughs> Y'all is bugging. For real. No one should put this many hours into work. This is not good. People should not work this hard. I'm not... So anyway, they ended up firing me. I don't know why, but they ended up firing me. I was like, fuck it. So after that, I ended up coming back to the city um, to visit. And I ended up getting a car. Well, it was a car that my sister had. And I ended up fi fixing it. So I ended up driving back. And when I had drove back, I got a job at Job Corps. The job corps that I went to, uh, went to school at. And that's where I met all my friends. So, I hope y'all listening because this is about to get interesting. Alright? So, the reason why I got the car was because in Schenectady, I mean, upstate, everything is like far from each other. So, Glenmont was dumb far from Schenectady, like 30 minutes driving but hella long taking buses like i'm talking about like an hour 30 minutes an hour 45 minutes like that shit was long as hell i was like uh-uh i can't do this every day so i need a car if i want to have this job i need a car and yeah they gave me the job as a residential aide so i was working overnights working with students um doing bed checks all of that yeah basically everything was going good i had the car I had the job, I had a place to stay, you know, everything was going good, but obviously it was too good to be true because this is where it gets real crazy. Uh, one day, mind you, I told you I work overnights. So I came home, went to sleep, woke up, went outside, and guess what? I went to my car and I'm not thinking nothing of it. I open up the door. I get in. First, I'm like, I'm looking around. I'm like, hold on, something don't feel right. Broken into. Yeah, and see, that's what the problem was. Cause I heard him first. I said, hold on. I said, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Cause then I start to taste them. I say, and then I start to smell them. So it's like a smell that tastes like I was like. So I knew something was wrong. I knew something special about it. You know? Something don't seem right. I'm looking around the car. Somebody had broken into my car. So I'm like, all right. I'm looking around. I'm seeing if they took anything important. Literally all my stuff all over the floor. They didn't take nothing. I'm just like, okay. Like they obviously were searching around, like looking for something. So probably looking for money or whatever so now my car the back door I, I knew I should have got that fixed but the back door opened so I guess like they had broken off the windshield wipers to try to see if they can like ply the door open or whatever but then they realized they probably realized like oh shit the back door opens so yeah that happened I went back upstairs I'm like yo E I went to my friend E I'm like yo E somebody just broke into my car they like oh shit Somebody broke into my car um, not too long ago. And it's somebody from this neighborhood or a neighbor or whatever. They be breaking into cars. So I'm like, okay. So y'all know it's a neighbor. And they ain't get hopped yet? Because in Queens, we ain't going to let that shit fly. 
<laughs> yeah they would have been done for but um long story short i ended up getting in the car i was like fuck it i'm late for work all of this is like crazy i'm about to get in i'm about to go to work so i get in the car um i'm driving like 90 like going back like i'm literally like driving that fast like first of all now that i think about it i shouldn't even be driving that fast but i was driving mad fast and the cops pulled me over so i'm like oh here we go so now the cops pull me over i'm about to get a big ass ticket like i'm just over the night the night is just done like i'm just like yo and i'm about to go to work and they about to blow my too like it's just about to be mad annoying like so they gave me this long ass ticket i'm looking at the cop like oh you really have to give me this ticket bro like for real like you really have to give me this ticket cut the cameras dead ass i start driving i get to work no when I had got pulled over. I had seen smoke coming from our car, but I didn't think nothing of it because I'm like, mm, this car is drunk anyway. Like, what the fuck? And it was my first time having my own car, so it's like I didn't really know exactly what that was. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I just be ignoring stuff. All right, all right, let's get back to the story. So I get to work, and you know, that morning came. I'm dri I start driving back um home. As I'm on the highway, my car starts slowing down. So I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> on the highway, my car starts slowing down. So I start I I immediately pulled over. Like I mean pulled over because I'm like, yo, this shit is crazy. It starts smoking. The car was smoking. I started backing up. I'm like, nah, like I got out the car, left everything in the car. I took my phone though. I did take my phone. But Cause like, you can't leave it off the phone. Like, come on now. Like, I took my phone. I dipped. I, no, I ain't dip. No. <laughs> Why would I dip? Anyway, nah. I started walking like far away from the car because it looked like it was about to blow up. So I'm like, damn. Now I don't got no car. Like, so I'm waiting for a tow truck now. It's cold as hell snow on the ground like i'm just like yo can this day get any worse like can my life get any worse wow the pressure is getting worse hey the guys are giving up <laughs> and indeed it did <laughs> so i get to the toll place and they telling me that somebody had popped a hole in the in, in, inside the hood i don't i don't know but they was like yo you best if you junk this car it's no going back like you might as well just junk the car but they lied because they wanted to get my money because i could have fixed that i go back i'm talking to um one of my friends at the time i'm telling them yo like my car is done for i don't got no car come pick me up from the toll place they're like all right i'm coming right now they ended up coming, so they start putting stuff in my mind. Like, I'm in the car, I'm talking to them, and they start, like, talking to me, telling me, like, yo, you think, like, why would somebody go in the car and do this and that and that and this, and you don't know nobody up here and blah, blah, blah. So it just started made me think, like, yo, you right. Like, if somebody was to steal something out the car, why would they mess up the car? You feel me? They would just take what they need to take. You never know. Like, I start thinking, I'm like, nah. Something ain't right. It gotta be the people I was living with. So, mind you, it wasn't them. But in that during that time, I'm thinking like, oh, no, nah, it's them. It's definitely them. <laughs> so, I get back to, I, I go back to the crib. I'm packing on my shit. I'm, like, bow, bow, bow. I'm packing on, I'm packing everything, right? And I packed up. All my stuff, she looking at me. This is my friend E. She looking at me. She like, yo, you leaving? I'm like, yeah, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Da, 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 da. 
So I started packing all my stuff, packing all my stuff. So I ended up going into a shelter that same night. I went to the shelter. I blocked in on everything. I'm like, yo, they mad weird. Da, 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 da. Like, but honestly, like, he didn't do nothing. Like, I don't even know what was. I was just going. I, I feel like I was spiraling, spiraling out of control because I really wanted my car and I didn't have my car and now I can't even get to work. Like, so it was just mad stuff going on and he had nothing to do with it. I was just tripping, to be honest. Like, I just felt like. I was bugging, but, and me and E till today is still very good friends. So now I'm in the shelter and at this, yo, when I tell you this shelter was dirty, I mean, like, obviously a shelter, like, come on, it's a shelter. Like, now I see some good shelter, but like, come on, like, I mean, what to expect, you know? It's like mad females there. They had me on the fourth floor of the shelter. So I had to, I had a big ass suitcase. So I'm bringing up the suitcase all the way to the fourth floor. I'm out of breath. You know, I'm a big girl. Like I can't be running up and down these steps every day. <laughs> I'm making one trip every day. One trip up, one trip down. That's about it. Stop it. My shoe came off. They telling me that they can't help me. I only got two weeks to stay in the shelter and I have to find a place ASAP because I make too much money. So I'm like, oh my God, here we go. I got two weeks, two weeks, two, uno dos, to get a crib. How is that, how is that possible? So, I end up going to work every day. I'm telling you, I had to miss meals. <laughs> and that shit is hard. Because the food be too seasoned. And I need food. So. I had to go to work every single day. I did overtime. I'm working, I'm working. I'm stacking up my bread, stacking up my bread. I had coworkers drop me off, pick me up. Doing, like... It got overwhelming, to be honest, but I went on Craigslist, couldn't find nothing. I went on Facebook Market, and that's when I ran into my landlord. And I seen this beautiful apartment, like it fit my budget. I'm like, yeah, it's lit. The landlord ended up calling me um, because I had hit her up. I'm like, yo, I'm interested in this apartment, da 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 She ended up calling me and yeah, like we was on the phone for like a whole hour. Like I was telling her like about myself, like what I do, like where I work, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, okay, um, I have a whole bunch of people on the list already, um, but I feel like I'm gonna go with you. So I'm like, who is lit? Boom. She calls me back. Like after that, she calls me back and she says, the apartment is yours. So I'm like, ah. So I, I'm mad, I'm mad hype at this point. I'm like, yo, I got my crib. I got the money for the crib. Like took me two weeks to do it. So that just goes to show you can do anything in life. Anything is possible. Literally anything is possible. Once you put your mind to it, Cause I really thought it was impossible to get a crib in two weeks. Like I had never seen that happen. Like literally I had never seen that happen. Never. Like, so I move into the crib and yeah, I'm that excited. I got my friend, I'm gonna call her Jaylene. I got my friend Jaylene with me and yo, we lit. It's mad hype. I'm gonna put the video right here. So you can see. Yeah, it was lit. Now I got my crib. I was still paying for Ubers to get to work because I didn't have a car. Um, The people that I was having around me was just not the best. Um, We had fun. I'm not going to lie. We had fun. But 
shit started getting messy and I'm not the type to get up on here and start bashing people that I used to be friends with. That's not me, but it did get messy and we're just going to leave it at that. Um, fast forward, I end up finally getting the car. Um, I have financed it. So I ended up getting the promotion at work. Um, I was working with the non-res students. So that's students who don't live on center. So I have to, um, yeah, it was just like, they had me doing like mad stuff, like going to houses, um, picking students up, all that. And I, they had gave me my own office. So I'm like, oh, I'm lit. Like I got my own office and it's in the cut. Like they hooked me up. So my students, they actually fucked with me like heavy, very heavy. And some people just didn't like that, period. <laughs> And I'm gonna get into that. So one day my students call me, they're like, yo, this lady, she's moving stuff out your office. Yo, you know anything about that? So I'm like, oh my god. Moving stuff out my office. I don't got it. I don't get a conversation. Nobody called me and said nothing. Like nobody said nothing about nothing. Like, I'm just like, I ain't. <laughs> I I see I get sick for one day call out of work and this is what y'all do y'all y'all gonna go take my office like that's corny as fuck but anyway this lady that had took my office she I knew her from when I was like a student and I didn't like her then <laughs> still don't like her now didn't like her when she was my co-worker I don't like that lady period and I hope she see this because I don't like you. <laughs> but anyway. Um, nah, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. I'm just playing. I don't, I don't even think about that lady. Like, it is what it is. So, I get to work. I'm looking at all my stuff in the next room. So, I'm like, okay, they gave me the office that, Okay. They gave me a bigger office, but the office just wasn't up to par, like how my office was. So I had my students come in. I'm like, all right, she want to be funny and not say nothing. I'm going to have my students come in and hook my shit up. Like, so I had my students come in. She walk in. She's like, oh, these students can't all be in here. I'm just like, girl, why is you on me like bad? Like. She was like, they all can't be in here. It's still COVID. Da, 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 da. I'm like, all right, like, miss, you're just mad because you try to make me have this office and you took my office and you're mad because my office is still going to look better than yours. Anyway, she ends up coming in talking about she's making all of these arrangements to my like she's making arrangements to my office i'm like girl you cannot be making arrangements to my office. talking about oh we need desk in here for the students that why don't you put the desk in your room how about that put the desk in your room so long story short i ended up getting tired of this bitch like for real I got tired of her and I'm just like, I quit. Like, it was a lot that came up to it, but she was snitching on me, saying that I'm coming in late. Don't even know why I was even coming in late. First of all, I was coming in late because I was helping out a student that couldn't get there. And y'all don't, y'all can't even do that. Um, It's just like, it was just mad stuff. So I ended up writing a little note. I don't know, I said, I'm out respectfully. And I put it on the table with the keys and I left. But that's where I messed up. Cause you never let nobody at a workplace fuck up the bag. <laughs> so now I don't got a job. I'm looking for a job. I can't find a job. I don't got no money. Can't pay rent. Can't pay the car note. Can't do this. Can't do that. I, I ended up getting tickets on the car. I go outside. 
my car not even in it get told i'm like oh my god so now i gotta pay mad money to get the for, for the tickets the car no everything so i'm just like yo i don't know, lost the car and now it's hard for me to get to work again like i just don't know like at this time i mean i didn't have a job but i was thinking like i'm about to have a job like it's gonna be hard for me to get to work without my car so it's a lifelong lesson for me next time i'll just do everything 10 times better and now that i know how to move now i know what to do what not to do and now it's time to get my drink on all right so that wraps it up for this video please like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss your daily dose you don't want to miss it